Hello, and welcome to the Heart Can Am Series Canada Tour, Round 5 of 9 at the Circuit Gilleville Nouve in Montreal, Quebec. We're ready for our first of two road races this season, along with the only standing start in either Heart Tour. Nikki Martinez is on pole, and uh, she's doing okay this season. She's running midfield. We'll have to see how she does in bring this one home. 37 laps lie ahead. So it's Martinez, Saber, uh, Lucas Knight, uh, Spencer Fullerton, and Sylvain LaSavage. That's your top five. As we get going for 160 kilometers at Circuit Gilles Villeneuve, entering turn two. There was a big pileup last time we were here in 2016. Took about 10 cars out of the race. But everyone is minding their P's, Q's, R's, and S's as uh, they round turn three and headed towards turn four on the back side of the island. Uh, this is an artificial island. It's, it's pretty cool. Uh, as Nicky Martinez pulls ahead in car 97 in the Toyota, ahead of Tyler Thaver in the 89, and it looks like we do have a couple of minor incidents in the back. Uh, we'll take a quick look at that. But uh, Nicky Martinez of New York rounding the S's and starting to pull away a little bit. Tony Tavolaris gets spun around by Zachary Fitzwater in car 59, entering uh, turn number uh, 3A, I guess that would be. And, uh, well, uh, I can't say I'm surprised about that for uh, Tavolaris. Uh, that is what he's known for, spinning, crashing, and a whole lot of stupidity. It's Martinez, Saber, Lucas Knight, Spencer Fullerton, Sylvain Lasovich, Annie Thomas, side by side of the 013 and Casey Lester from the 777 of Diego Yepes. Uh, that's Emmett Panson in the 7204. That's Pat Smith. And 11th, I believe, is Jeffrey Fengai. Uh, this is a really cool camera we've got here on top of the hairpin wall. We're going to be using it uh, more today as the field uh, finishes up lap number one. Interesting to see uh, last race's winner. Oh, off goes the 86 of Mike Durbin. Interesting to see uh, the uh, last race's winner as Zachary Fitzwater this far back considering he's the points leader and all that. But yeah, he, he's all the way back in 30th, and that car, he, he hasn't shown much speed this weekend. He uh, is using what speed he has to try and get by uh, BL Ravine, but yeah, that's not gonna work out. So I, I think he might just wanna log some laps and uh, kinda hope the car holds together so he can get some points. Uh, this race might be a little bit of a mess. The Mr. B Potato Chips, car number eight, the Dodge Challenger, Lucas Knight of Kelowna, British Columbia, gets by number 89 of Livingston, New Jersey's Tyler Faber, the uh, Colorectal Cancer Alliance Ford Mustang. So up to P2 goes Lucas Knight as he tries to chase down Nicky Martinez. Fred Flintstone in the F1, the Mike Duvall uh, throwback, the uh, Flintstone Flyer. Actually, I'm not sure if you could call it a throwback considering how old uh, Flintstone is. Uh, and we don't even know. Uh, he, he's got a mechanical failure, so he's going to have to yabba dabba run that car all the way back to the pit lane. Uh, he's going to fall quite a bit back, but this is a large track, so he's not going to go lap down. As the heart drivers perform that beautiful slide in the camera view, uh, Martinez uh, still leading at 04 has crashed. That is Pat Smith. And Tristan Wilhoy, the jet pick had some damage. Tristan Faulkner, 50 pin guy, uh, a couple drivers, but they'll all continue. On board Tyler Thaber in the 89. Thaber won at uh, Haig River, which was race three, the first of two dirt races. Uh, that up all the way up in the Northwest Territories, that must have been a really fun trip up uh, and trip back down for the heart crew. But regardless, uh, they did put on a great show, and it was a nice reopening for the track, as Faber did put on a bit of a challenge on Lucas Knight, but it did not work out, so he'll have to wait a bit before he tries again, it looks like. We've got a few cars hitting the pit lane. The Jet Pit, Pat Smith, and Tristan Wilhoyd are in, as is Tristan Faulkner. They've got some damage, and there's Tony Tavolaris, and Ike Durbin, too. Uh, this race is 37 laps, pit window is about 17, so it is possible to do a one-stop. Or to uh, perhaps uh, get service done now, pit around lap 22 and go for the rest of the way. There's quite a few strategies drivers can employ. Annie Thomas, car 93, 
she uh, won uh, when we were here in 2016. That was uh, that was an interesting show. It was uh, basically people driving with their heads up their butts. But, uh, yeah, she uh, gets passed by Spencer Fullerton. Thankfully, they're driving much more cleanly today. And uh, she's trying to hold off car 777 of Diego Yepes of Venezuela. Car 013, Casey Lester, trying to pass. Nick Pericles spent Park's uh, dormant years between 2017 and 2021 grenading engines. And he was the final entry into Hart for this season. Speaking of late entries, uh, Ali Nelson makes a late entry into the S-Bend there. Uh, spins out the 84, and they are very briefly four wide, but uh, they all manage to sort one another out as uh, BL Ravine and uh, Zach Fitzwater get together. But it doesn't look like there's going to be any more drama. This really is a picturesque track as we focus on Fitzy Fingai, Mr. 200 himself, and car number 29. And just imagine owning a speedboat or having a drone at the ready to get some beautiful shots of race cars going by. Not just the Hark guys, but as sports cars and even Formula One. As uh, we've got cars in the pit lane, it's Kyle Collins. Lucas Knight makes his first challenge on Mickey Martinez for the lead on lap five, heading into turn number two and through turn three. Knight will have the advantage here, but it doesn't get much of a run as Martinez still side by side with the Dodge Challenger, and she will pull out ahead in the Camry. The uh, NOS Energy number 97 will hold on to the lead. Dan Bouchard and BL Ravine fighting for the all important position of 20th as uh, Bouchard gets a little loose and uh, they door one another through the S Bend. Uh, guys, again. You're going for 20th, there's no need to do that. Lucas Knight sets up again on car 97, heading into the hairpin. He's got the advantage, but she powers on by, heading down the casino straight, and on the, uh, the hard charge towards uh, the final S bend. And Nicky Martinez will hang on to the lead for now. But here comes uh, number eight again. Oh, this is, this is great stuff. Uh, they're, it's only lap 7, and they're already uh, racing like it's lap 37. And here goes... And yeah, that's a successful overtake by car number 8. The Dodge Challenger takes the lead. Sylvain Lasavage of Saguenay, Quebec, chasing down car number 73. The road racing expert, uh, the closer, I guess you could call him, Spencer Fullerton. Come to think of it, how how's Fullerton afforded racing in Hark for all these years? I don't think he's ever had a sponsor on that car. Well, I guess that's a secret between him and the lamppost. As Fullerton uh, pulls away a little bit, and now a lot from car number 88, and will hold on to four. Caitlin Sang in the ICC car 07. She's still looking for her first park win. She had a pretty good shot at it at uh, auto clearing, but got collected in other people's garbage. As Casey Lester hits the pit lane, looks like uh, we've got cars starting to pit. But yeah, Sang's, uh, Sang's the 2017 champion, which makes uh, it even more impressive that she hasn't won a race. Al Legacy has spent the last half lap chasing down the 93 of Annie Thomas like a Mori Povich cameraman. And on the outside of uh, Annie Thomas and Lucina Gallo, Al Legacy makes it three wide and will make it stick going into the right-hander, I know, as the outside. But, powers by anyway. Al Legacy will take the positions. A bit of a shame this is for 14th. Even so, he, he's putting on one heck of an impressive performance in front of the crowds. Casey Lesser in the 013 and Emmett Vanson in the 72 hit the pit lane on lap 9. So that's a pretty early stop for the pair of them. They were running at the uh, kind of the tail end of the top 10. So having some good performances. Outside of his wild barrel roll at Michigan, Max Anderson has had a very quiet season. Uh, he went into this one 12th in points. Uh, he hits the pit lane, or he, well, he hit the pit lane at the end of lap 9, started of lap 10. Bridget Pitt, Tony Tavolaris, and Ike Durbin also in for service. Currently lap 12, a uh, top 5 still hasn't hit the pit lane. I think the highest up in the running order to do so was Diego Yepes in the 777. He pit at the end of lap 10, started lap 11. 
out of about six or seven. It's mostly nose to tail right now, so not a lot of hectic battling going on for the lead. We got a fun battle going on for about 24th. Kyle Collins hardened to the wall, and uh, he, Project Pitt, and Nick Pericles get together. That sends the Alumacraft uh, Chevy spinning. Uh, no harm, no foul. He will continue. On board, Nicky Martinez. Martinez uh, started uh, lap 12 in second, but in the second half of the lap, fell all the way back to fifth. So uh, something's clearly going on in car number 97. Perhaps she uh, should hit the pit lane soon. Actually, perhaps uh, all these guys should. Uh, almost everyone else has gone in for their first scheduled stop. Lucas Knight messes up the uh, first of the S-Beds. And here comes Spencer Fullerton on top of him like a bad smell. And Fullerton takes the lead. And here comes Tyler Thaver for second. Nope. The Mr. B Potato Chips Dodge is going to hold him off. And in fact, Thaver might lose third. He will lose third to Sylvain LaSavage in car number 88. Uh, Nicky Martinez uh, a little too far back to capitalize. Diego Yepes and Casey Lester are taking it side by side through turn 14 and 15. And Lester rams into the tire wall in the wall of champions. Fitzy Fingai, uh, Ali Nelson, uh, Cassie Gertis, Max Anderson. That's a big mess. It really was a fun battle, but sadly it comes to an end there. As Lester breaks the suspension on the tire wall, Pat Smith gets some damage too. Uh, Lester is able to, uh, to uh, refire the car and pulls into the fence using the access point there. Fitzy Finn guys uh, slow to refire as into the wall goes Al Legacy and Bridget Pitt. Pitt spins out and gets hit by Nick Pericles in the 84. And that's going to take Nick Pericles out of the race. Uh, Casey Lester, also an early exit. And it looks like we got a car blowing up. That's William Brock. He was running ninth. Brock really didn't need that. He's last in points. Uh, Brock uh, finished last in points in the 2016 season. So, uh... Yeah, I, I think he's uh, a little sick and tired of being dead last. But yeah, that's uh, that's day over for the Ford car. Coming to start lap 15, Thaber gets into the wall and uh, loses a spot. But your running order is 73, 8, 88, 97, 89, 07, 35, and 92. That is your top, well, 8. Lucina Gallo looks like is now running in ninth. I don't know if Nozomi is on the lead lap. I think she is, so she'd be in tenth. Fullerton messes up turn 15, and here comes the Anderson Engineering crew of Sylvain LaSavage and Lucas Knight. Nose to tail, they they uh, go on by the 73, and it uh, looks like they're going to do battle. They're not going to play nice with one another. Well. Uh, I, I, I'd hate to lose a race to my teammate myself, but, well, regardless, 73, now back to third. On board Sylvain Lasavage as Knight doors Lasavage exiting that s -band. and then again, uh, these two are battling like political candidates. They're, they're teammates, by the way. And entering the next set of S's, Knight uh, has a very, very bad entry, and here goes uh, Sylvain Lasavage. The Saguenay Quebec native goes on by and will take the lead. Looks like the leaders are finally biting on lap 16. Spencer Fullerton is in. So is Nikki Martinez and uh, that was Caitlin Sang in the 07 hitting the pit lane. Jeffrey Fingai staying out in car number 92. Doesn't look like there's anyone else behind him. Oh, uh, never mind. That is Lucina Gallo, but she is staying out as well. Found out why Caitlin Sang is so far ahead. She only took two tires. Going by the 88 of LaSavage. And coming up on Tyler Favor in the 89. Uh, 89 also took two wheels. As uh, Sang much faster than the 89 ahead. Uh, Favor still has to warm up his uh, fresh rubber. And through the, uh, the switchback. And here comes Sang. Uh, Sang, as, as mentioned, is winless in Hark, but she is the 2017 champion, based purely on great consistency. She lost in a photo finish at, at Watkins Glen in 2017, so that's the closest that she's come. And here she comes on the 89, and she will take the lead quite easily. 
Nikki Martinez also took two tires on that stop, and she hit the same lap as Sang. Unfortunately, she had a collision with Dan Bouchard. Uh, we missed that one, sadly. And uh, fell back a couple of spots. She's still running fifth, but she is nine seconds behind Sang, uh, which is a real shame considering uh, she sacrificed two tires for that. I'm sure Martinez is disappointed that uh, she didn't get uh, the truck position she wanted, but at least she isn't Spencer Fullerton, who's all the way back in 10th. His picker really failed him, so there's probably going to be a meeting at the, uh, the Phoenix Hauler after this one. We don't normally see drivers working on their own cars anymore, but Lucina Gallo is a frequent face when uh, the 47's hood is lifted up in the garage. The Mobile One Dodge Daytona has had an eh season uh, so far. She's 17th in points. She's running in 11th and not doing amazingly, but not a bad run either. Got a bit of a lull in the action, so let's take a look at your running order as of lap 20. Uh, Caitlin Sang leads, Tyler Faber in second, Nikki Martinez has charged her way up to third, Brian Hart, Sylvain LaSalvage, Jeffrey Fingai in sixth, Emmett Vanson, Lucas Knight, Spencer Fullerton, Diego Yepes runs 10th, Cena Gallo's 11th, 12th place, Molnozami, 13th, B.L. Irvine, 14th is Al Lagacy, and 15th is Max Anderson. Looks like break time is over. Tyler Faber and uh, Nikki Martinez go side by side into turn number three. And on the outside is Saber. Uh, he gets a good run though. Uh, outside line in that turn seems to be very strong today as Saber holds on to P2. A couple of the drivers who pit early have made their second and final stop. That includes Emmett Vanson who is running in the top 10. He pit on lap 9, so he should be good to go for the rest of the way after this. On board, Caitlin Sang, your leader. She comes up on the lap car of Tony Tavolaris. Did that say Taboo Laris on uh, the window of the 69? Okay, that's pretty funny. As Sang rounds the hairpin, uh, the Tavolaris fighting back. Uh, he's not going to give this one up, but he, he really should concede. I'm not sure what he was thinking, but Brian Hart just hit on lap 22. Well, end of lap 22, beginning of lap 23. Uh, he was only out there for five laps. He pit with the leaders. So, uh, even the crazier thing is, he didn't take any tires. He just went in for fuel and a wedge adjustment. So, uh, we'll have to see how Brian uh, does with this. We haven't had anyone hit the wall champions in a while, but Cassie Gertis decides to put her name on the list. Gertis won the, uh, the rookie shootout at uh, Beach Ridge uh, at the beginning of the season. I've heard that track isn't doing so well, sadly. But, uh, Gertis has not done anything at all since then. She is 23rd in points. Caitlin Sang, your leader, is in at the end of lap 23. She's calling for a two-tire stop. Uh, it's gonna be the other side, so, uh, she, she doesn't plan on, uh, using the same set of wheels for the whole race. Uh, Diego Yepes is in in the triple seven. Yepes is having a pretty solid day. Uh... <laughs> So uh, he's really looking for that. And looks like we've got a couple more cars coming in. Uh, 32 is committed. Yep, that's our legacy. And he's running midfield. He's doing all right, I guess. As that's going on. Oh, wow. Uh, Lucina Gallo hit that wall hard. As uh, that's going on, Jeffrey Fingai gets a good run on the inside. Now to the outside of car 97 of Nicky Martinez. And we'll take uh, P number two. He's just behind Tyler Faber in the 89. Big guy looking for his first win since Lausitz of 2014. It's been a long time. Heading down into 14 and 15, Tyler Faber slams into the wall, and here comes Jeffrey Fingai for the lead. Fingai takes it, and the lead lap 24 as Lucina Gallo hits the pit lane. And uh, Fingai. Again, looking for his first win in years. And it looks like Faber's going to lose second place to Nicky Martinez. Unless he can get a good run on the inside of three. No, that's not going to happen. The outside has been very strong in turn three. And uh, Martinez will take the second spot. Just behind Fingai. They're coming up on the lap car with Tony Tavolaris in the DeLorean. During the grid walk, I couldn't get a word out of Pat Smith in the, the 0-4. 
uh, apparently he's pretty angry when, well, when he gets angry, he is absolutely ferocious. I hope he wasn't angry with himself for that uh, early screw-up. Send him back to 16th. That's where he's running right now. Not doing great, not doing terrible, as he's just ahead of Al Agassi and behind one of the Denali's. I think that, it, yeah, that's Allie Nelson. Lucas Knights reporting that his car is losing power, and that's not going to help as he slams into the turn 15 wall. Uh, Knight still running up front as uh, it looks like Martinez and Thaber are in for their final stops. Tyler Thaber's back a couple of seconds now. Uh, he made a track bar adjustment on that stop. He only took two tires, as did Martinez. Of course, it was uh, the side they hadn't taken care of on their first stop. And now uh, he and Caitlin Sang are going at it. Uh, the pair of them, well, it was a cat and mouse game earlier. And now it looks like uh, they've caught one another. So, uh, well, we'll have to see if uh, uh, who comes out on top. Zachary Fitzwater entered this race as the points leader, and the, uh, he uh, won last time out at auto clearing, but he's all the way back. He's outside the top 25, so he's not going to be leaving this one with the points lead, that's for sure. As looks like Fullerton and one of the Anderson cars uh, made their final stops. Tristan Faulkner has had a junk season. He's 24th in points, he runs 26th on track. His year didn't start off that great uh, with a uh, turnover at uh, Beach Ridge, and he hasn't done much since. So, uh, yeah, I'm sure William Duncan is probably very disappointed in the young rookie. Emmett Vanson in the Pontiac Grand Prix makes a move on uh, Caitlin Sang. We, yeah, we've been showing a lot, a lot of uh, Saber and Sang, it seems like. But, yeah, great pass by Emmett Vanson in the Vanson Racing uh, GP. I believe the only Pontiac Grand Prix in the field. Uh, that car is completely blank. So it's, it's nice to see that he's got some speed, despite not having any sponsorship. Brian Hart's tires must be screaming for mercy as he skirts, skirts over the curbs and gets on by uh, Spencer Fullerton in the 73. Very impressive pass. But, uh, remember... Hart took no tires uh, when he pit on lap 22. So, uh, yeah, his, his tires probably aren't uh, too happy with him, and I assume he's not pitting again. As fantastic camera work by the guys here at Montreal going right behind the trees. Be it for just being herself or for that gaudy car, Spool Nozomi has made the highlight reel quite a bit this season. Uh, she uh, had a very interesting race at Auto Clearing and is trying to get by the 93 of Andy Thomas, who, as mentioned, won here in 2016. Uh, is gonna power on by, it looks like. Yep, there she goes. She's running about 13th or so. She's second in points. So, uh, depending on how some of the drivers up front do, she might be leaving this one with the points lead. Mr. Bad Luck, uh, Kyle Collins of Newfoundland and Labrador. He has not had any fortune in his heart career, and I've heard that in other racing series, he's also known for uh, just kind of falling apart. Real dang shame. I, I, I've heard he's a good guy, and that car is gorgeous. The closest he's come to a heart win was at Calgary in 2017, which he lost on the last lap in a hectic battle with Prudence Littlejohn and Al Lagasse, who uh, Al Lagasse ended up winning that one. Diego Yepes had a bad pit stop. Whoa! Hang on to it, 43. Yepes had a bad pit stop, unfortunately, so the 777 is mired back in 16th now, uh, racing with Ike Durbin in the Toyota Supra, the only Supra in either field, in uh, either Hart series. Um, so, yeah, that, that, that stinks for uh, Yepes. He was looking for better. There's no one within uh, a postal code of car number 8, Lucas Knight. Uh, he's all on his own running in fifth. The uh, 04 is a lap down. Pat Smith had a mechanical failure, so uh, he, he had to hit the pit lane, and he's even further back than he was, so that really stinks for him. But good run for car number eight, though it doesn't look like he's going to make up any more spots. Uh, at least he won't lose any uh, unless he really screws up. I thought Brian Hart was a bad man, but Spencer Fullerton pit a lap before Hart on lap 16, and on his second stop, Fullerton also didn't take fresh tires, any of them, 
they, they'd probably be screaming for mercy if uh, Tyrus could speak. But yeah, uh, it actually seems to be working out. So, uh, they're about 20 seconds behind Jeffrey Fingai. If Finney picks again, this could be very close. Jeffrey Fingai and Sylvain LaSavage report that they're coming in. They just want to splash some fuel. So, uh, no tires for both of them. I can much more understand, uh, no tires now that it's, uh, at the very end of the race. So, regardless, they're gonna have to make these the best pit stops that they possibly can. Checking in with Tyler Thaber and, uh, Caitlin Sang as Dan Bouchard pulls out of the pits. Bouchard, I think, tried to go the whole way, but it didn't work. Uh, number 89 runs in 10th with Caitlin Sang in 11th. So they have fallen back. Still pretty decent runs for the pair of them. As, uh, well, uh, Sang definitely looking for better than uh, she did last time at Auto Clear. It's a very lonely sixth place for your pole sitter, Nikki Martinez. She's had a good day. Uh, I, I'm sure she uh, really wanted to be up front battling for the lead, but there's nothing wrong with sixth place. Uh, yeah, it, she's all on her own except for the lap car of, looky here, Pat Smith. I really do love that Can-Am machine. It's a shame he's so far back. One of the last remaining battles on track is between number 72, Emmett Vanson, number 47, Lucina Gallo. This is for seventh, as Vanson has the advantage going into turn 14, and through turn 15, he blows the corner without even taking it out to dinner, and here comes B.L. Ravine. He also gets involved, but that is game over for car 72. Heartbreaker. Here's where Fingai slotted in. He's just ahead of Brian Hart. Spencer Fullerton uh, running third, trying to get by Hart. And Sylvain Lasavage in fourth, uh, looking to pounce if any of them make a mistake. As he head through the hairpin for the third to last time. Uh, the flagman's going to be showing them two to go once they hit the stripe. Dan Bouchard's running 12th, and Al Lagacy is 11th. They're both uh, well down in the points order in uh, the low mid-low 20s. So uh, these uh, these pretty decent runs, uh, that's really going to help them get out of the ass end of points. I don't think they're going to fight for the championship, but if uh, they can make it up to the top 15, I I'm sure they'd be pleased because there is quite a bit of prize money involved in points placing. Lap and a half to go. Brian Hart trying to chase down Jeffrey Fingai and Fingai trying to hold him off. Again, Fingai hasn't won in years since 2014 at uh, Euro Speedway Lausitz. If I recall right, he actually lucked into that one and Hart hasn't won at all. Uh, Hart almost won at auto clearing, but slapped the wall coming to the white flag and gave it up to Zach Fitzwater uh, Hart uh, was taken on when Taylor Price, uh, who uh, ran the team back in 2017, was killed in a uh, highway accident. So uh, they're running with, well, heavy hearts, so to speak. Uh, so they're, they're looking to have uh, one heck of a celebration for Taylor if uh, he can bring this one home. A thing guy looking to have one heck of a celebration himself if he can get his first win in <laughs> God knows how long. White flag, one more lap to go for the Fingai Saitomi Incorporated Texaco Ford Mustang of uh, Jeffrey Fingai, car number 92. The Michigander starting to pull away a little bit from Brian Hart in uh, car number 35. The Schluter Systems Tall Clubs International of uh, Chevy Camaro. Uh, he comes from uh, Montreal, so this would be a home win along with uh, the aforementioned uh, emotional spot and uh, Hamilton, Ontario's Spencer Fullerton, car number 73, the uh, Phoenix Pontiac Firebird, right on the two's back bumper. He's ready to capitalize if the pair of them make a mistake as Fingai tries to hold off number 35, and he's doing so so far as they pass under the Go Daddy sign and through the forest under Bonjour Quebec. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of signs here. You can tell this is a Formula One course and into the final S-Bend before the second hairpin. Hart's a little too far back to capitalize in the hairpin and rounding uh, the uh, other end of the island and uh, they're gonna be going along the St. Lawrence River in a couple of seconds. I think there's probably a couple of uh, drone users getting great shots, uh, shots of a lifetime of this incredible battle. No lap traffic in the way, Tablars isn't gonna be an issue as 
coming down the casino straight and into turn 14 and 15. Uh, Hart trying to have a peek at Fig Guy. Oh, Fig Guy runs wide and into the wall. And Brian Hart is right there. Hart charges by and it's going to be Brian Hart crossing the line first and bringing home Montreal. Hart, like a bull at a gate, just presses on by number 92 of Jeffrey Fingai. Takes the win at the very last second. Unreal finish. On board Jeffrey Fingai. He just runs a little wide in 15 and gets to the wall. That's all it takes to pull Marcus Ambrose. And that is not a sight that Fingai wanted to see. The 35 going by him with just a couple dozen feet to go. Spencer Fullerton got a great view of that. And entering 14 and 15, Pinkai just slipped up. And all that progress, all that, all that jubilation that he thought he'd be experiencing, he's going to have to wait another day for that as Brian Hart steals it from underneath the 92's nose.